school teachers around the state are pushing hard against a part of the bipartisan state budget deal. Yeah, it calls on teachers to contribute more to their pension plan, but the head of the largest teachers union in the state calls it an unfair tax on teachers. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis live tonight with the details. Mark? Hi, Darren and Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, the... Um Everyone on, on both sides of these bipartisan negotiations over the budget said they had to compromise. Everyone compromised. But for public school teachers, the compromise takes a big chunk out of their paycheck. Public school teachers around the state are flooding state lawmakers' inboxes with emails urging them not to include the current plan in the bipartisan budget that calls for them to pay 1% more of their pay into the teacher pension program. Teachers who do not participate in Social Security currently pay 6% of their pay to their pension, and the state pays the rest. In a statement, the president of the largest teachers' union saying, quote, teachers stand together unequivocally opposed to a teacher tax. Teachers should not be punished for the state's mistakes. I keep hearing this term, teacher's tax. That is not true. It is a falsehood, and it misrepresents the package that is before us. Legislative leaders from both parties say the teachers' union actively opposed the governor's proposal to have the cities and towns pick up part of the tab for the teachers' pensions. I know they are not excited about the additional teacher contribution. We held firm and made sure teachers' retirement burden was not put on towns and cities. The leaders also point out that the 25% tax exemption for teachers' retirement pay is continued in the budget plan. Contributions for pensions have been going up everywhere else. The state employees are paying more. We're asking our teachers who do great services throughout the state of Connecticut to pay an additional 1% of their payroll to secure their pension. The leaders are still working on the local aid portion of the budget plan, but now say that the amounts going to the cities and towns should be enough to avoid any supplemental tax bills. The cuts are so de minimis, quite frankly, I can't see anyone reopening their budget at this point in time. Our legislative leaders said yesterday that they wanted to meet with the governor over the weekend to fill him in on this budget compromise proposal, but the documents still aren't ready, so that meeting has been pushed off. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.